thick, sassy sense of humor. Is there anything else you want to add to that checklist? That's about it. I mean, so what are you for work? Uh, I'm a school bus driver. That's hard. Oh. <laughs> because of his. That's a hard job. Damn, that was quick. Cool. Take your blindfolds okay. off and look at each other. You're saying blindfold button? Hi. <laughs> Guys, when did they put a blindfold in the button? Um. I have to resume Hunter Hunter. It's been years. I really like it, y'all. Hunter Hunter's so good. Well, look, there's a bitch. You could have gone quicker <laughs> with your old fat ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 uh, wait for no, me. no, no, no. If you would have rejected me because I'm a bus driver, you getting this work. Why I'm you about gonna... to ride over you with this bus. Why? Mm. Why you? I'm mad for the homie. I can see that. Yeah, he got poor shamed. Yes. So it's time to fat shame. I'm exactly. Yes. Living in your truth, living yes. your life. F shame. Shame! What do you guys think about that idea? Do you think that if you get shamed for what you do for work, you can shame women? Like, if women can shame men for how much money they make, can men shame women for what they look like? I want to shame forever. <laughs> Don't matter if you're thick. Shame! You took me out because I'm a bus driver. Ooh. I'm thick. I know, right? That's <laughs> even for fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you reject me? Why did you? I just wasn't feeling the spark. Didn't feel no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. The spark was in the bus that he's driving every day, and the spark is there. You didn't want that. He's just a bus driver. Now, it go. Wait a minute. It goes with what the fuck I was telling you about. Who? What does it look like when you make a hundred k? It looked like a suitcase. Even if he was a bus driver that was that owned three bus. Okay, 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 so listen. Preach said in a video a second ago, like in another video, that 100K to women sounds like a guy who wears a suit, which is true growing up, that is what 100K sounded like. But now 100K to me sounds like you have a pretty solid career, um, but you could be anything from I work in tech to I work in marketing to I'm a YouTuber. So for me, when I think 100K, I know I do not think suits anymore. But when I was a kid growing up, I thought of Brad Pitt in like a nice suit with a briefcase or like a George Clooney or like, you know, Christian Bale in American Psycho, not but not killing people. You know, I thought 100K meant you worked at like Wall Street or something. But now 100K could be like a teacher. I never thought a teacher made 100K. Like I didn't know that as a kid growing up. I thought teachers always made a little money. But most of the teachers, if you, especially if you're a master's and you've stayed teaching for 20 plus years, you can make a lot of money. But it doesn't mean you look like you make money. So I think this is interesting. Yeah. The hat drivers. I like, for the record, people who look like they don't make money, but they make money. That's my favorite, but people who look good, like middle class, like nice, like, oh, granite countertops, because, you know, we fancy like that, but, you know. On him, and he was actually driving one of them, Yeah. right? Making well over 100K because he has in contracts, yeah. right? Yeah. But he's also driving the bus because he's about that paper. Yeah. Bus driver don't sound like 100K. So on that other video, when all the girls get all these wild numbers, it's also what the... It's not just the money, but it's the reliability of the career. Because if I go on a date and someone's like, I work at McDonald's, I'd be like, oh, that's an interesting decision. What made you choose McDonald's at 30? Because, you know, I'm... Or 28 or 30... How old am I? I'm 33, 38. So I date five years younger, five years older. So if somebody was 38 and working at McDonald's, I'd be like, oh, tell me about that decision. Oh, I'm a manager and I make 85K. Okay, great. In and out, they, they, their managers for their stores make like six figures. So if I was dating somebody and they managed an in and out, not just because of the money, but the association with the in and out like label, I would think that's attractive because I love in and out. I like love them as a company, their ethics, the way they do things. You know, I actually like in and out as a family owned company. So I would feel very like prideful if my partner managed an in and out or if they made, you know, good money loving in and out. That would be amazing. But if my partner worked for McDonald's, like I don't really fuck with McDonald's that way. Like I think their food is disgusting. I think it's bad for you. I think it's fine if you eat it. I don't have a problem with consuming things that are bad for you. But like it wouldn't be braggable unless you I don't know. It's like, yeah, I guess like he owns like it's cool. But it's the same. Even if he made like a milli, it'd be like fine. But in and out, ooh, that's like, you know, it's like the association bus driver sounds like it's something you do. Because I know bus drivers, they're either retired or older, not retired, but older, or they're really young and it's temporary. So maybe she heard bus driver and thought, ooh, doesn't have a solidified career. Or um, a bus driver, ooh, he's gone midday. 
It's not a full time job. It's part time. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot associated. Why not McDonald's? I just I don't like their vibe. It's like not braggable. It's not braggable. You know what I mean? Like in and out is like a cool company. It's like working for, you know, a company you believe in their like ethics and morals and then you just go to work. It's like, yeah, I'm I'm proud that he has a job and then he works full time. It's like not the money. It's the um it's like when you hear people, I work for a nonprofit. It's like, ooh, what, like, why do you do it? Is it because you have no money in your board or because you actually believe in the activism? Do you know what? I, so it's like the why did you choose this job? I think that's the thing people don't think about. I'm, I want to know why you chose the life you chose. Like how did you find yourself in it? Because it's either methodical or it's by accident. And that's like a good story all around. Hi, Conrad. I see you. Hello. Izzy says those who dress as if they don't have money but do have money still look rich because their sweatpants and sweat uh, shirts are clean. True. Matching and fucking um, ironed. Super clean lines. Very true. Um, but that's my that's my favorite look to, to be true. Um, nobody dating a fast food manager. If they work at in and out I am. That's a hot job. That's a good one. Your class discriminating McDonald's boys. Yeah. I didn't grow up in a family that ate McDonald's. We grew up like a poorish immigrant family, but like middle class, lower middle class. But like you eat rice and home cooked meals your mama made you with 50 cents, if that's what it means. But McDonald's was expensive for my family. In order for my family to feed us, we had 10 kids. McDonald's was way too expensive. My brothers could eat five McDonald's meals. There's no way my mom could have afforded for us to eat a McDonald's. So it's like an indication to me, a person who eats out, if like, it's just, I'm just, okay. I'm just saying it's a different bubble. So <laughs> Brittany's standing in and out. Literally, I live for in and out. I worked out of there out of um, high school and I just love them as a company. I do. I really love the them. The motherfucker look like because there's a romance to it. Yeah. What she, heard, <laughs> what she heard, bus driver. She was and, thinking, and, yeah, yeah. What was she thinking? Hey, no, you, you, oh, I don't want to see you wear them jeans with the holes every day. And why are you driving kids? You probably a five. You know what I mean? Mm. You probably diddle them. Okay. There's all the, but there's all those thoughts. I went. Hi. I am really open to trying anything new. I'm pretty new to the area. But stuff. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so juvenile, you know that? Yes. Yeah. I mean. Okay, wait, really fast. Jade says. Um, I'm a family of five and it costs at least 30 to $40 for all of us. Are you talking about at McDonald's? Because even in and out, it's very expensive to feed the family. It's $8 a meal for the most double, double grilled onions, you know, at Chili's type thing, like the main double, double with a drink and fries, like eight something. If you like my brothers could eat farm brother can eat like two double doubles, three double doubles, right? So that's a lot of monies to feed your family when you could just make burgers at home by buying ground beef at like a much, like, you know what I'm saying? Eating out is expensive. It's a trick that there's a dollar menu. You guys like people fall for this. Poor people especially fall for this and think fast food is so cheap. It is not cheap. It is so much fucking easier. It is cheaper to buy a rotisserie chicken that's not pre-cooked. They're cheaper if you buy them raw. Sometimes they have more meat on them. So you're going for actually poundage of meat too remember the rotisserie chickens they use for your rotisseries are small i know i used to make them they're not the same if you get at like a dollar 99 or less 99 cents sometimes you can get two rotisserie chickens for like 10 bucks that's five dollars for a whole and this chicken fat okay and like lentils are like a dollar from the dollar store bam six dollars some salt and spices you know you already got in your cabinets and bam you've made a meal for 10 people with six dollars like there's just there's it's a gimmick it is a lie. It's a marketing ploy that McDonald's dollar menu or Burger King's dollar menu or any of these menus are going to feed you. They're not going to give you good calories. They're going to fucking make you feel like sloths. They're not going to help you. And they're not going to help your wallet. It's bullshit. I mean, I'm 40, but going on 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. You Sorry, not raw rotisserie chickens. Raw whole chicken slash rotisserie chickens. Girl, come on. Because of the fresh. Yeah. Yeah. You 28 going on 80, 80. and you 40 going on 11, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Even Section 8 housing got ovens. What are you talking about? Someone said poor people don't have ovens or cars to go shopping. Bro, you got your car to get to McDonald's. How'd you get to McDonald's? You can't get to Safeway? You can't get to Ralph's? And also, what do you mean you need, like, if you need an oven? Okay, like, I don't. How many people live in without ovens? I'm talking about. 
most of the people I know who are out spending live in houses, okay, with an oven. I'm not talking about people who don't have ovens. Like how, what is, how many people living in America don't have ovens? Maybe around the world, but we're talking America shopping here, people. <laughs> that I just started a new job recently and I work in the beer industry now. So it's been a lot of stopping at bars and things like that, so. He was like, looking like the bad bitch of beer. Girl, did she say beer? <laughs> so when you're dating, what age I think they match really do you well. normally kind of stick to? Bro, this is about to be the- Don't this they is about, match this is really well? Killer. Yeah. He said, what age group? And he about to fall outside because he looked yeah. like he's 37. And she looked like she's 45. She looked like she's 22. Yeah, she looks young That's as hell. Right I usually... She, no, she, okay. Guys, weight adds age to you, okay? It's just what it does. So sometimes when people are bigger, they look older. And women tend to look older when they hold weight. Even though girls with pudgy cheeks are considered younger and angular can look older, not really. Not with this girl. She has that and she has a raspy voice, which is like a stereotype, right? So like she holds this weight, whatever. And that's why she looks older to some people. But her energy is very young. I'm going to say 21, 22. I wouldn't actually think she's in her 40s, but she has like middle-aged woman energy. But I think sometimes it's the way people hold their bodies. Um, but so does he. He has middle-aged energy, but he is middle-aged. He's probably 30... Well, not middle aged, but he's probably thirty five to forty, and she's definitely nineteen to twenty four. Isn't that interesting? They have like in their energy is weird. Go older, so my age range is usually like twenty two to thirty two kind of thing. He's so <laughs> what I tell you, wait, thirty two kind of thing. Older, so my age range is. Does that gray hair? I usually go older so my age range is usually like 22 to 32 kind of thing yeah so she can't she's not that old at all what i tell you what i tell you she said 22 to what 32 that means she says older so that I means mean, she's around 22 she, yeah she's about she's about no she's younger she's probably 20, but i mean i okay yeah God damn. Sorry, girl. I thought you were a lot older than that. Um, I'm at the bottom of that. <laughs> I'm 39. Okay. Uh, I am so, so sorry. How are we doing? You know, I'm great. Thanks for getting me off my feet. Move yeah, 39 is way too old. He looks about that age, too. He can't be dating girls. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you got his hands ready. He wear. Yeah. So how are we doing? Stop, drop, and exit. <laughs> Recommend anyone watch the show. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's about to happen? Also, if you guys don't have cars because you can't travel, I see your comments, I feel you. Instacart is cheaper than eating out. When you eat out, you're paying the delivery fee and the tip for the restaurant, if you tip, and then you're paying the tip for the driver. But if you're ordering groceries from Instacart, you're paying the delivery fee because you don't have a car, so you're saving money on insurance, and that's good, or car payments. You can take that money you would have spent on a car and put it towards your food. But you still need to get your groceries delivered, which is fine. So pay the tip and then get your groceries delivered, pay the fee. But it's still cheaper than ordering meals that are pre-cooked from you from like Chipotle. You're going to spend $16 to go to Chipotle for one fucking burrito that lasts you a day. When you could spend $18 if you have it or $16 at a grocery store and literally just get some lentils and rice that will last you many meals. So it doesn't matter if you can't get your groceries. Like if you get groceries are always cheaper than getting pre-made meals. They charge you a premium when you get pre-made food. When you go to the grocery store and the watermelon's cut for you, it's a premium price, which is why having a disability sucks because you have a disability, which means you traditionally don't work as much. But the things that are made for you are, well, they're not made for you. They're made for rich people on the go. But like, they're made for people that would be perfect for people with disabilities because you can't chop your own food. They're, you're paying a premium. I understand. Like, it's very hard. There's two. There's two ways to look at it. If you're middle class, you go, okay, do you understand? I'm too high for this conversation. The point is, okay, don't, you can do it. You can keep eating out and buying at these restaurants that are charging you so much for fucking rice, or you can make it on your own. It's up to you. I don't care. It was about to happen. <laughs> you were, sorry. No, the way you hit that, bro, you were going for the Revenge. drug. But shout outs to you. That's a slam, no worries. I am so sorry. <laughs> you're lovely. Thank you. Um, Ooh. But. No, I like the way he no. looked. No, did you notice? You're lovely. 
I don't need to take them off. I felt you already when I gave you that hug. We good. You're lovely. Thank you. Um, oh so my God. Girl, you, you are one me? of the most gorgeous bitches I done ever <laughs> seen. I mean, the way the sunlight hugs your curves. I done seen your silhouette in my dreams. The way that the booty touched the cheek. The way that the thigh connects to the kneecap. I mean, Stop listen, the side. I'm not even gonna front you. Uh, I think you might be one of the most beautiful IG models. I don't, I don't have Instagram. Man, don't answer with <laughs> detractions from the reactions that I'm uh. having to your actions in terms of the clothes that you chose. I felt that <sighs> the way that you left your abode, you came through with the fresh. He's really going. Girl, guys, I guys, just imagine what Abba feels like in his sweater right now. I'm not even thinking about what Abba looks like. I'm imagining being Abba. And you're doing this bit, and you're like, is this going too long? Is this going too long? Are you the fresh and fit? But Aww. I'm saying that you came with the right fit. You feel me? Abba, Zaba, Zulu the third, seeing what can't be heard. I done had vision since I was blind, because now I see the truth. Call me the red pill. Girl, I'm about to give you the real deal. Oh. Damn. Bitch, your skin is smooth. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you just let me grab you like that? <laughs> Damn. Cool. Oh my God, stop. Oh, you submissive. Okay. <laughs> Girl, you're gorgeous. Uh, was it the Riverdale? I'm gonna be very candid with you. We have a little bit of a bromance back there, and so I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to be out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His reasoning was all the guys wanted me to get her out. Mmm, that keeps happening. Oh no, I just heard a big gasp from the gal room. <laughs> yeah, what the other, this has went from a social dating experiment to Dude, fucking gang. Women gang, versus gang. Men. Gang, gang. Yeah, yeah. Yo, male side. City boy, city boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Mess side! Period blood! Drip, drip, drip. And I'm not villain number one. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hello. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Samantha. She has so How much hair. Um, I'm oh, really good. What is oh something my that god. you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure? Anime. Listen, holy shit, her hair's so thick. My brain... I, I know I'm baked, but my brain is like, this is not a thing. Is this a thing? Oh my god. That you don't tell anybody. I'm I mean, curious. I watch a lot of anime. Of course no you do. No shit. Shit. No shit, girl. How did that Girl, live? we know. I mean, she we came in done like know. a bleach character. We know, girl. It's me. If she start talking too much, I'd probably pull out the Bankai as well and tell her to shut the fuck up. She the biggest anime weeaboo right now trying to lecture a girl over her weeaboo-ness. Even anime fans got a hierarchy, bitch. Who's the most normal but still watches anime? But, like, let this girl live her weeaboo She's life. A bleach character? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean the fact that she's white. I mean the design. Them I bleach. Them I bleach out. Them skin. Them I bleach. You look like a browning. Them I bleach. That could be the new bleach intro song. Them I bleach. Them browning. Them I bleach out. Them skin. Them I bleach. You look like a browning. Them I bleach. Them I bleach out. I fucked up. I watch Me too. a lot of Asian shows like Korean dramas. What is your type? I'm definitely very into Asian men. What race do you think I am? I have no idea. I don't I don't want to make assumptions. You want to take a guess? I would say like maybe white to Asian, maybe. I am Asian. White to Asian, we love a spectrum. We love a spectrum. And this is why we have hierarchies. Because if you're a white person who's just obsessed with the anime, so you want an Asian boyfriend, you're there. There's a there's an issue, right? Like we're having an issue. It's not even a racist issue. It's a fetishization issue. It's like a problem. It's it's like a groupie for an ethnicity. It's it's not. I know I know everyone's been doing it. Like this is not abnormal. People be fetishizing white people all the time. But like, it's not good. It's not a good look. Like I watch anime, but see, I don't watch anime because. You know what I'm saying? I just like anime because the stories are good and the fight scenes are awesome and Vinland's so, just so violent and beautiful and perfect. I love it and Berserk and all these great stories. Like, 
But she watched anime. And now she wants a... You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's... And this is why we bully people. You shouldn't bully people. But this is why there's like a bullying where we're like, nope, I can't hang out with you now. Because it's weird. You made it weird. <laughs> you know, there was a... I get this sometimes with my borderline. Where people will approach me and almost be like, so you have borderline? I'm like, uh-huh. And they're like, um, they like, they're men who want to like save me. Like, oh, like, you know, like, I, you know, they're like, oh, you're like, I could say, you know, I, I really think your borderline's interesting. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's weird. But this is even weirder. If somebody was like, this is so weird. Like, it's just not cool. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! Um... I'm reading your comments. You know how this ends, Brittany. Ah, we know how this ends. She's not fooling anyone. She knows he was Asian. How would she know she was Asian? Wait, what did I miss? How do we know he's Asian? How would she know? Wait, did he do something to know? No, how would she know he's Asian? But we know she's white who likes anime. And I watch, she said Korean. Like, it's a big deal. So we know she's white. Wait, what do you mean she knew he was Asian? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Habibi. Can we talk? Oh, sure. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good. You need a hug. You do. Okay. 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 Fuck. Y'all, life is hard. Life is hard. Life is, um, damn, that's rough. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Guys, please listen to me when I say this. You are a stereotype. Sometimes. And when you are that stereotype, you cannot expect people to act differently. She is a perfect stereotype. Perfect. It was like written. And she fulfills it so well. He knows. He knows what she looks like because she's a stereotype. And stereotypes are real, okay? It's just some of us aren't a stereotype. And then we get lumped in with a stereotype. So we have to be like, no, 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 no. I'm not like them though. But that's the thing. There is a stereotype for a reason. And she is it. See, when I say I watch anime, I get the stereotype of, oh, but I bet she doesn't watch it enough to actually know anything about the fighting skills of Goku versus Vegeta for the last fucking blank years. Yeah, no, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I just like the stories. But I still watch anime. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, but then she, she doesn't watch anime because she cares about the fighting skills. You know she watched anime because she's looking for a husband. It's different. Fuck. I love her. And I hope she's doing okay. But girl, you are a stereotype. And you can make a decision now if you want to be less of a stereotype or embrace it. I just say embrace it if it makes you happy. Hey, I don't know what this man's name is. No, listen, bro. I don't know what this guy's name is, but I want to appreciate how this guy's uh, gaming the system. Brass. Yeah. He said, we blindfolded, yeah. but if I can't see you with my eyes, I'm going to see you with my hands. Amen. He oh, did. Triple D titties. Oh, my God. Large waist. She fat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey man, uh, hey man, my man is hugging for a purpose. Yeah, and it ain't to show you uh, love. It's no. to find out if he wants to make love to you. Yeah, and the answer is Joy. You said it so good. In the center of every bubble is a stereotype. I think that's exactly true. So every bubble has a stereotype. Like you know what her bubble is, guys. It's not that fucking hard, right? And then you span out and you meet people who are adjacent to her or adjacent to whatever the stereotype is for the guy, right? And so that's the it. And then you spread out. 
And then you figure out what bubble you're in and why you attract certain people to your life and why you don't. Like, that's what's so interesting about life is, like, if you start being introspective and ask yourself, like, oh, I'm a stereotype. How do I feel about that? Do I want to be a stereotype? I'm okay with that. Maybe actually I am a stereotype, but not because of peer pressure, but because I actually am just, like, that anomaly that is that stereotype. And it just gets paid more attention to maybe. Like, you know, the anime weeb girl who likes Asian boys and loves BTS and Korean films and hopes to have an Asian husband who's a nine and she's, like, a... A three. Yeah, that's that's a stereotype and that's a common. And I feel like that's fine. But you have to decide if you're actually fine being that stereotype and then living within the reality of that stereotype. You know what I'm saying? Is a no! Bars. Why, Nathan? We get along on a lot of different topics, but I felt that it was something where I could become a really good friend with you. Yeah, yeah, I felt your body and I'm like, friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine someone hugging you and be like, I think we're better off as friends. <laughs> yes. Friends. No. I think we're, I, I, I think all of this mm. and I are better off as, if that's what he's saying. That, in different words. I think so. That in different words. I'm saying it's just not his cut. type. It's I'm just not his type. I'm translating what he said. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just kind of a gut feeling for me. No, that's totally, totally valid. Yeah. yeah. So this went viral on Twitter, the video we watched. I want you to read <clears throat> Nathan. The dude that buzzer hugged every single girl that sat down, and when he realized they were fat, he immediately pressed the buzzer. This dude is actually just fat phobic. Or oh, that's just not they type. Like, you don't have to want to date everybody type. To be honest with you, too skinny or too fat, it's not my thing. Like, I literally, if I hug you and you feel like you're sticking bones, it's not my favorite. But look, when you're in love, you accept things about people that aren't your favorite. So I'm not the kind of person that would really not date someone within a specific range, but everyone has a range, right? Like I know people who are so fat, they have to like lift up their bellies to find their genitalia. That's fine. That's your journey. That's a lot to ask someone to handle when sex is supposed to be this fun and convenient thing that people do. And then sometimes you're in a wheelchair and it's not as convenient. And then at the same time for somebody else, that's not a big deal. Like that's the thing. What's not a big deal to someone else is a big deal to another person. I know so many of my friends or so many people who date people who are disabled people. Um, like I 100, like I have things, like, you know, we all have things. I don't want to put anything hard down in the sand because I'm just like a little bit more open, I think, of the average person. But in general, we all have things that we're not as into or lifestyle choices we're not as into. And I just feel like for some of us, we have more of a spectrum of leniency. But yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him for not for having a type. You know what I mean? Um, without it being fat phobic. I feel like fat phobia has to be like you think fat people are less than because they're fat, which is bullshit. Who cares if they're fat? Let people be fat. Like, I don't understand. Like, let people be fat. If you want to be fat, be fat, right? I think fat phobia is when you think that they're less than because they're fat, which I don't believe. I come from a very fat family. Like, I'm not about to – I'm about to fight you if you think my family members are less because they're fat. I'm about to fight you over it. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's kind of, like, something to keep in mind. Um, why is everything phobic when you're not interested? Well, because it could come from that place. But I think people need to understand that it's it's – probably not coming from that particular place you know he's just thinking probably about his penis he's probably like i'm just not going to come to that it's not that it, it's not that deep you know <clears throat> like would you date if you're a guy that it's an, an, into girls right would you date a woman that is like ibf pro Super bodybuilding, you mean? Super bodybuilding. Like she built, like she got delts and shit? Yeah, everything. Uh -huh. Delts, pecs, pecs. He's going to say no. Next, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Everything is all, would you? Depends, does she have dicks? No. Okay. Uh, but clats. <laughs> Lots of clats. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, she, <clears throat> yeah. if the body top is not your thing, that's, your, <clears throat> that's not your thing. Fact, even men, even if you're a woman and, and you're a woman and you date men. Right? IBF pro. Some girls, some girls told me, I look at that guy like, oh, that, that's too much. So how can it be too much when we're talking about muscles? Mm. But when we talk about other things, for some people, it's not too much. That's you. That's you. 
What? No, not you too much. I mean, like that's, that's you. you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Let's let's, 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 be, let's be let's be let's that be let's be let's be I never heard that let's one. Let's let's, let's be okay, honest. Because I've been hearing a lot of things. Me huh. going at the gym or whatever. When, <laughs> I, you when I talk to my girls, huh. I'm like yo, that guy. Whenever I train with my girls and everything and stuff, I'm like yo, that guy's pretty buff. Like nah, nah, that's too much. Mm. Okay. So too much <laughs> muscles, you could say that, and that's fine. Nobody bash. I was such a was such a cheerleader. He's such so a hype man. We're talking about other things like uh, too much <laughs> hair. Oh, you're gonna have to do something about that. I've seen girls when we go out the beach. Guy has a, a back full of hair. That's too much. You're gonna have to do something uh, about that. Hair phobia. Hair. Hex says, "Uh, wait, buff women are my favorite gender. Ditto. Lean beef patty. Girls with thigh muscles. My whole Instagram feed is just girls with muscles. I'm so gay. Oh." Fuck. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I love them. They're just like the best. I can't, oh gosh, if I could just, I also like it on, like, I hope, I really hope I can lift weights one day. I don't think so, maybe. But body workouts, guys. I'm starting. I started doing my push ups again. I started doing my planks. I'm doing my yoga. We're doing yoga twice. Uh, I pay a professional yoga instructor to come into the Discord to teach us yoga for beginners, because you're a girl beginner. I even leave my camera on most of the time so you guys can see me fall because I'm bad at it. If you want to join the Discord, it funds the channel. It's amazing because, you know, my I'm not ad friendly. Um, but we do, we're doing it on the 9th and 16th of November. So if you guys want to join us on Discord for that, we would love it. But yeah, it's been really helping with everything. But man, if I could just have chokeable arms so I could choke, so I could get those, you know, arm muscles. And then me and Melina can do like a photo shoot for OnlyFans where I go to choke her. Or me and Lav. Or me and Kyla are all three of us. Guys, I'm manifesting. Let's manifest this photo shoot. It's fine. But other things is not. Men and women. Men and women. There's a whole movement called, I don't remember what it is, but you let your your your, 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 your hair grow and everything is up for women. That's fine. Men with this shit on their back. That's fine. That's, that, that's disgusting. That's a bit too much. Oh, okay. So why is it too much for some things, but for Eva? other things, it's not? You know what Eva looks like? Eva looks like that sign language interpreter um, that, that was getting it all wrong. You remember the girl that was like making it up? Like she didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> That's what Ava looks like right now. Oh. I, I don't care. I actually don't care. I date big. I date small. <sighs> I would date muscular. I do mm. not care. I don't. But <laughs> it's a good question to ask. Why? Why in some cases it is too much and some don't? And it goes with Ava whatever right Ava was saying on another video. We say, huh? We protect certain people and certain people. It's like, uh. yeah. <clears throat> so when is I'm just saying I said what I said but I'm about to just repeat it but I'm just asking the question out there answer that at least at least he's going with the rule he can't see he's hugging that's not my shit that's not the shit that goes that makes me go off yo I was having a discussion <clears throat> what nigga <laughs> Nick, What's with that smile? This bro? is the best take you've had ever. all year. Ever. I don't know, ever, but it's up there. I, Top three. Oh, I'd say ever. Oh, yo, everybody write that bitch down because you're going to use that in your robotics <sighs> anytime everyone brings up fat phobia. Write this bitch down. Go ahead. I said what I said. So, whenever you got someone that is super muscular, guy or girl, and you look at them, you're like, oh, no, that's too much. It's okay to say that's too much muscle, but when it's other thing, it's not too much. Yep. When we see too much hair, you're like, uh, that's that's too much. A whole ass grizzly out there. That we could say that and that's fine. But other things we can't. Yo, and let me also say this. This is the same oh. homegirl who said, What is your type? I'm definitely very into Asian men. Uh she has a fetish for like egg, Asian egg, dudes. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, bro, objectification is a part of dating. She's doing it to Asian men. He's doing it to find a skinnier girlfriend. No, huh? Who that? <laughs> what? What? What was that? No, I don't hear shit. <sighs> okay, cool. I don't hear shit. She literally, I mean, you can. she, I don't really, lie, but she like... really borderline, borderline, because it's not proven. Borderline, because it could have been that. Confess to a fetish. I mean, hey, bro, she likes anime. She came in dressed as an anime character, and then she says that. But no, nothing. We're not gonna go. But that's fine. That's fine. No, we're just gonna. Yeah, that's fine. That guy mm. cannot reject her. He's fat phobic. Oh, fat phobic or victim of racism? I don't know. You put it out there. Maybe he's both. Maybe he's both. But the original question is this: <sighs> Why? 
Why? Why one is okay to be too much and other things are not? Like I said, I do not care. I don't mind big, big. I don't, I don't mind small, small either. But it's a weird question. Had to go, by the way. It was good. We talked. And then afterwards, we hugged. He sat down. And he buzzed. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. My name's Nathan. What's your name? I'm Amy. <gasps> Why did you press the button? It's just like, wasn't the vibe. Hi. Oh I'm 21. Okay. <laughs> My girl strategic. She already knew he was gonna hug her and probably buzz her out. So she's like, no, no, I got this. Amy is dating to marry. Are you ready to get oh. married, Donovan? <laughs> I don't mind marriage. I really don't. I just, it depends how I smell. How old are you? I am 26. Probably when you look at me though, you're probably like, no, I'm younger than that. Younger? So, really? Man, looked older. My man looks like a Bugs Bunny villain. Yeah, That's he looks older. Like Elmer Fudd. I thought he was older. But just, just like. <laughs> Them teeth are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Porky pig. <laughs> you ever had too much water in your mouth? <laughs> My nigga got too much teeth in his mouth. And that shit overflowing. It's a, it's a, he does sound like that. Three is a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Two would be fine. Three is like. Is it like you don't make enough? Wow! Oh, get this bitch out of here. Get this bitch out of here. We didn't get to see the response. Do you hear what she said? She said, is it because you don't make too much? Did you hear what he said? Or she said, holy fuck. I mean, to be honest, it's not really the cost. It's the energy for me at this point. But damn. Oh, fuck. My name's Rhea. Okay, my name's Donovan. What is your type? Look-wise, my like, type oh, okay. has been all over the board. I definitely love people who are like athletic and into the gym. I love like manly men who can like, you know, <laughs> let me feel more relaxed and like, so protective. that's just my type. Yeah, yeah, I do work out and everything, so it's just part of my regular. Really, Donovan, are we sure? Are your arms. <laughs> are you sure about that, Donovan? Let me see. I hear my okay, arms out. Okay, where, where are your arms? Out. Okay. <laughs> okay, you seem strong. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. He might have said worked out. I'm like, what? You do teeth curls? Because that shit is correct. <laughs> Abba! Oh! You know what Abba is? Abba is so self aware of stereotypes and what people's trope is, and he loves to point it out. He just loves to point it out. Like, this is the Sid the Sloth trope. I said it. Like, you feel, but, like, you know, they're cute. They just, like, it's an interesting bag to have because it does put you in a category. And same with, like, a certain kind of voice or body type. It's just a stereotype. And Abba's really good at pointing those out. But, like, damn. Don't worry. I do forehead curls. We all got our uh, You know what I'm saying? We all got our deformed. Are but you man, working out right now? Because your forehead's sweating. Yeah, <laughs> but when they work, I've been lifting these, carrying you through these videos, nigga. <laughs> We carry you through these videos. This That's Ethiopian right. oh. powerhouse, <laughs> the Horn of Africa, uh. carrying all my semi people. The Horn of Africa. That ain't a horn, all right. Let's go. Forehead press. Yeah, I, I, I can take. I've received it, so I gotta do shit every time. Somebody, you know what I mean? Fuck yeah, some people gotta catch a few strikes. Forehead deadlift. And there's no way that this girl, when she Cabello, thinks of athletic totally. and attractive men, she's thinking of this guy. Forehead's quads. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you she gets a chance to look at him, she'll say no, but I'm guessing she's. What do you like to wear? Yeah, Abba's like mean, but not mean spirited. Like, Abba will point it out. Like, he'll, he's, if I ever needed someone on my team to point out the insecurities in a person, Abba would be who I would call. Abba can just see it. He, like, he can smell it. He's like, Yep, I got it. Like, he just knows the stereotype, like, the, the thing in people that just, like, we're all thinking it, but he's saying it. It's, like, very interesting, actually. Because I don't have the reflex to say it because I'm like, oh, okay, people are people. We all have our things. Like, people are people. But you know what I mean? It's interesting. Hi, Jules. So, honestly, I work out every particular muscle twice a week. I would say my favorite one I like to do is chest. Um, Habibi, do you see this double chin? I don't believe you. It's like Destiny, Steven, my friend, my wonderful, considerate, very handsome, very fuckable friend who literally says he goes to the gym, but I'm pretty sure that man is not going to the gym. 
Melina's arms look like she could choke a motherfucker out, while Destiny's arms look like they'd be very nice for snuggles and cuddles. So I love it. It's wonderful. But when people go, I go to the gym, and then they have Destiny's Gamer Boy arms and his double chin, I just don't believe y'all. I said what I said. Fuck. I'm sorry. It's right there. It's just not the same. Can I feel your face? Because it insinuates you're like Chris Haria, and you're not. You need to just say, I'm going to the gym and I'm working on it, but I'm not a gym rat. Because when you say, I go to the gym twice a week, there's a six-pack image we're expecting. And I'm just sorry. It's a, it's like false advertising. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said what I said. I like this. Yeah. You saw that shit? <laughs> you saw that, that shit? shit. <laughs> like a fucking Swiss army knife. He retracted that shit so quick. Yeah, because my face. <laughs> Wait, I that? didn't see Can it. Can I your face? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I like this. Yeah. You saw that shit? <laughs> you saw that, that shit? shit. <laughs> like a fucking Swiss army knife. He retracted that shit so quick. Yeah, cut my face. You saw that. Do it. Do it. Okay, yes. <clears throat> Ryan said it perfect. Ryan said he looks like he works out, but he hasn't done cardio since he was ten a teen. Yes. That's what it is. Like cardio, look it, we all just wanna know how much fat we're dealing with on a person. That's what we're asking about because it's like a different way you hold weight matters. Chubby is cute, a little skinny is like whatever. It's all cute in different ways. But when we say like, oh, I go to the gym twice a week, we're kind of expecting some image. Like unless you say I'm a bodybuilder or no, 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 not a bodybuilder. What's the guys that gain a bunch of weight so they have big bellies, they, um. The, the strongest guy competitions, they have a very unique physique. They're working out, obviously, but they eat so many calories and they use the steroids or whatever. So they have like these, these like bellies. Like that's another thing too. Are you lean like a cyclist? Um, do you do rock climbing? Like all variations of how you hold weight. Like my friend is in such good shape that all the guys she dates are way out of shape for her. Even guys who go to the gym twice a week, she'd laugh at them. She goes to the gym every fucking day, bitch, because she's constantly working out. She's an athlete. So like she's not an athlete like sports. She's an athlete dancer. She's a ballet dancer. This girl works out her muscles and her body. Like she has muscles everywhere. And most of the guys she dates, um, they're not in shape enough for her. It doesn't matter if you're skinny, you're not in shape. Unless you're running, unless you're in shape shape, you're not in shape for her. Oh, power lifter, strong man. Yes. That's a very different working out type than than the guy who goes to the gym but never does cardio, that too. So it just, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't, look, over-promising is the worst. Don't oversell yourself. Be honest so people aren't disappointed. They're going to be more open to you. Girls will be more open to you if you are honest about where you are in your journey with your weight in your body than if you try to lie or pretend, oh, I work out or like I have a six pack and then you don't. Like I just, people don't like to be lied to and it feels like a lie. <laughs> Feel my face. Yeah, yeah, give me two seconds. I'm gonna that shit. <laughs> I would say my favorite one I like to do is chest. Where is that? It's right there. <laughs> uh, I would have been so hilarious if he's like, now let me feel your chest. Blindfolds off in three, two, one. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Woo! I mean, like, listen, I was Expected. being kind. Expected. Why did you reject him? Um, I just want to see, like, what. I oh, he looked kind of mad. Ooh. I mean, like, li listen, I was Expected. being kind. Expected. Why did you reject him? He looked kind of mad. Um, I just. Was he like getting his like public face on? Like, see how he touched his face? And then he's gonna get his like neutral face on? Let's see like what other vibes are there. Okay. Just for the experience. So, this is womanese for um, you ugly. Yo. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. You and I can do way better, so I'm gonna do better. Next. Hello. Hi. Ooh. Do you like the smell of each other? Indian or Arab? <laughs> with a beard that good. Ooh, with a beard that good. Indian or Arab. Ooh, he's good looking already, I decided. Mm. Maybe a little shallow, but it's just because of the cheetah print, because I'm a stereotyper. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You smell like body wash. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> this, 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 this is the one. They're definitely going to feel each other. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice perfume. What is that, lotion? It's a bum bum cream. It has cream. See how he uses, like, product? She has product on her lip. It's okay to be with people who match you. It's like what's attractive, right? Like the guy before her cleaned up nice. He was very handsome in his own way.
but he's not like glamming it up. But this next guy, his beard is trimmed. His hair is done. You know, there's products in that hair. He literally to- like is bragging about how he smells because he knows he used products. Boys who use product versus boys who use cologne. Do you get what I'm saying? Boys who go to Sephora who are straight because they want to be, you know, that kind of guy for a girl is different than the, you know, it's different. What's that? What's bum bum cream? Bum bum cream. I don't know what bum bum cream is, but I don't know what bum bum cream sounds like. Mm. Like, listen, you mm. took him out of your bum bum and you spread it all over yours. Oh, that's what you were thinking? I thought mm. was, uh, I'm into anal. <laughs> oh my God. Anal stuff? twice. Wasn't that anal twice this video? <laughs> I thought it was. I you were digging, you got anal you on digging in the butthole like treasure hunting. Bum bum cream. Oh, that's bum bum cream. Bum bum cream. Um, Soph, I agree. I think your appearance and aesthetic are somewhat indicative of values. I think so too. Like, okay, I just think about wearing fur or leather. Uh, people who don't wear fur or leather, right? They're not going to want to date someone who does. It's just, it's that simple. Or it gets down to even my aesthetic. Like, I like my aesthetic, but I know it's not for everybody, right? The fact that I'm just even dressed up today like this, like, this is so inappropriate for my family's vibes. They'd be like, ew, Brittany, put on some clothes. But for other families, it's normal. It's like aesthetic matters, right? Mm. some people are attracted to opposites for sure it's just like for sure it's just like there's a reason those are kind of the rarity of longevity so most couples who have longevity i find opposites attract but they don't last and then when they do last it's like an anomaly like oh my god i can't believe you guys lasted so long because when you're opposites it's unnerving because most of the successful couples i think we have as references usually match to some extent i could be wrong that could be bubble talk but from my understanding of some of the most successful relationships i've ever seen in our, like even on the news or in relation like hollywood people are similar you gotta moisturize some cheeks you know yeah what are you doing oh after? he's definitely a fuck boy though but she is too the wa- Wanderer says he looks like a quintessential fuckboy. This is why so many women are miserable and traumatized. No, no, no. I think she's a fuck girl. I don't think she... I think she knows he's a fuckboy. I think she wants a fuckboy. I don't think she actually wants a good wholesome boy. No way. She feels very, like... You know, that kind of girl. I don't know. What are you about you? You trying to find out? I'm quite certain you are going to be suffering very soon. Eh? So- they're definitely going to have a breakup, but like, they're definitely not in it for the long term, anyways. Anus is going to be ruptured. Are you ready to see each other? Yeah. yeah. Three. Yeah, they're definitely going to go out. One. I've got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, know, Ingrid. Me too. Ingrid says I would reject him for that shirt, though. Honestly, I I hate I can't ha- I, I hate animal print. I fucking hate it. I love it on other people, not really. I hate it, and I can't I can't. I, it's not. It's about values. It's about values. Che- I'm sorry. Animal print says something about you. It tells me your bubble. In my bubble, you don't wear cheetah print. You don't wear animal print. It's not the vibe. Like I like my bubble. I like. Again, it's not a judgment. I just, I can't date somebody who's into animal print. I do not buy, I've never bought an, my whole life. From a child till now, it's just not my vibe. Nobody in my bubble wears animal print. It's very weird. It's not weird. It's just very different. It's like a certain, it's just not going to happen. I just thought I would have been a crazy <laughs> way. That would be like the craziest juxtaposition between someone seeing someone very sexy and then yeah, finding out like it's just. Okay. Oh my God. Hello. You're cute. Oh, stop. Hey. <laughs> yeah, hello, I like that. Obviously look like siblings slash cousins. The eye money with the blue. I need to Ooh. see them together. You have a really nice smile. Okay. Are you going to commit to a sex? They literally look related. Which is probably why they were attracted to each other because it's something familiar with one another. Are they going to go on a second date though? Are they going to say, oh, I don't date other brown people? Or, oh, you look too much like my cousin? This dude is such a... Which, even when I date middle... Like, if I look at Middle Eastern people, they... It is, like, they do look like my siblings, right? Because, like, we all look the same. Fuck boy is crazy, but it's working for him. So, shout outs to him. Congratulations. Do your thing. Get it in, player. How you doing? Second date? The lady's comfortable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Commenter. Please, to Oliver, please tell me... Pink flamingo patterns get a pass. Bro, 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 bro. Of course they get a pass. That is not the same as, thing as cheetah. Cheetah, animal print like zebra. It's like a, f- a specific vibe. I don't like it. But like flamingos are always good. But with it, I am. Yeah. I would enjoy that. Congratulations. Uh-uh, turn the button red. What? You should turn the button on. Nice to you. It's a pleasure. Okay. The pussy way. He just shook her hand. 
This man screams on the top of his fucking lungs when he sees a spider. But not in the way that's cute. In the way that make me hurt him. I hate him. Why are fuckboys so hot, though? <laughs> I'm glad I skipped the person before this. <laughs> Oh, damn. Bruh, you already gave him an L. You can let somebody else catch a stray? You gotta give two Ls? Oh, uh, my God. God damn. Do you have any idea how many teeth curls he's gonna do now? Like, Leave him alone. You, you spelled loser with one L, not loser. What the fuck This is an origin story. This is how Batman villains yeah. are created. The penguin? This is how it happened. Mm. This is Thief Man, bro. Mm -mm. But anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments mm -mm. below. We want to hear from you. Oh, that was a weird ending. In my head, in real life while I'm dead My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm Sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool